leader Diwana G and eliminate him. He's presently committed to the hospital to undergo heart surgery. He needs a new heart and a pacemaker. The complex consists of the hospital itself as well as a Shiva temple reserved for devotional and religious practices for the top members there. The hospital has different floors with sick wards and treatment units. You will find a package in Dr. Shakran's office with equipment that will help you complete this mission. I repeat, 47. Collect the package, find the cult leader, and kill him. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host, Whitewolf NLD, and today I am finally back. After just about six long months, I have been very busy in my personal life. I had absolutely no time to continue my videos. But finally I am able to, and I'm gonna try to get back into, well, daily uploads. So without further ado, let's get right in it. This is episode 19. This first part is probably one of the harder parts of this mission. You're gonna have to get by this guy without him seeing you. You can do it like I did here, just walk up when he looks away and then use the pillars for to, yeah, to break his line of sight. What you do want to keep in mind is that when you get close to him, he's going to start walking. So you don't want to be too close to this guy. He can literally make your life hell otherwise. I advise you all to just stick around the same row of tiles that I did. Then you have no problems whatsoever getting by him. Now in this mission we're only going to take out our target, you, uh, as you all know by now that's how I usually like to play my missions, only take down what you really need. After all that's what 47 gets paid for, right? So yeah, right now we're coming up on our first disguise. You do want to make sure that, you're wa uh, that you watch out because there's another guard roaming about on our left. The guy that you will s see there standing right now, he basically, well, as far as I can tell, he doesn't move. Let's say it like that. But there is one on the left side roaming and patrolling around this building. You can see the orange suit that we're, uh, that's laying there. That's the one we're gonna get. So yeah, just be sure to keep crawling. I know it's slow and I know it's annoying, but if you want that silent assassin rating, I advise you to do it. Okay, so we're gonna grab the disguise and immediately continue walking because we have no idea right now where the other guard is. Okay, so you'll see a guard there. Um, not all the time you will see him patrolling, in my experience, so when he gets far you can just make a run towards the window, that's our entry point. So yeah, basically now our infiltration is already completed. Right now I'm just seeing if there's any equipment that we can use, but it doesn't look like it. It's not le that we really need it, but it's fun to collect the items, and I know some of you out there love the collecting. So yeah, we're gonna try and use the map trick to speed up the lock picking. Sometimes it works fast, the other times it doesn't work at all. This time it works. Now you want to keep in mind that the nurses can actually see through your disguise, so they can get tricky to get by. Just make sure to keep moving and not stand still or give them any reason to look at you longer than necessary. So yeah, we're gonna go to the left here and then we're gonna make it up to, uh, towards the stairs. And then we are gonna get ready for our second disguise. And also where one of the objectives is, which is to retrieve our equipment. So 
So yeah, we're coming up there now. So the door here is locked with a nurse sitting there. So you're gonna gonna keep going. Get up the stairs. And then we are gonna drop down through that hole. Remember to immediately use the crouch button to avoid taking damage. I actually forgot to get my equipment here, so I dropped back to get the box from the desk, which is the objective. In the package will also be a key for the second disguise. So now we can get into the room. Get our second disguise, which is also our last disguise. And then we're gonna head on down and it's time to get uh, the setup for our kill. We're going to lockpick this door. And we need to get down again. You can also keep on going and then on the second yeah, courtyard, whatever you want to call it, there's the elevator also. You will see now that I'm actually trying to reach there, but I'm like, okay, it might be more smart to go down. I don't know, it's just personal uh, preference, so you decide what you think is better for you. I'm raiding the nurses out a little bit just to make sure that I'm not recognized so yeah we're coming up at the elevators now so you're gonna call it and then go inside and head towards the basement. And there we go. Now all you have to do is stick to the left. Keep in mind the guards, don't do anything crazy. And I'm gonna show you guys also where to get the scalpel if you don't have it yet. So don't worry, you will see now where you can get it. desk is the scalpel. You can add it to your collection and you're gonna need it to complete the mission on the way I did. So now you're gonna want to head towards the uh, across the hallway immediately to that door. I'm looking here to see if the guard has uh, moved away because we need to pick the lock. gonna cut the power or turn it off whatever you want to call it and you, that's where the night vision is for um, some people prefer no night vision um, just for the sake of 
trying to get you to see where I'm going. I keep keep it on. Basically, we're gonna head back towards the elevator that we just uh, came from. You don't have to worry about any people now because it's completely dark. They cannot see you. So we're gonna move it all up and now when you reach the elevator there's one long hallway um, there's four rooms actually he can be in either one of them that's completely randomized every single time so right now we're gonna check the first room and clearly that's not him so we're gonna move on to the next And like I said before, do not worry about guards or anything. They can't see you, so they can't harm you. Well, in the second room, clearly also not there. I'm going to check my map now to see if there's any target blinking, because I didn't know that before. It's still not. So clearly, um, you got to have him to find him on your own. But he's always in one of these four chambers, so that's pretty easy anyway. And that doorway that you see straight ahead, we're gonna go through there pretty soon. Um, for some reason my recorder stopped and didn't record, so I have had to cut a little bit in the video. You will see that in a second. We're gonna enter the third room and voila, there he is. Be sure to check if the door is closed so the guards cannot see or hear what's going on. And then you're gonna use the scalpel that you just picked up on him. Do your magic and voila. Target assassinated. So now basically we can leave. Um, soon comes the cutting point. Okay, so I had to cut a little bit out. I'm gonna double back so you can see exactly what I did since the cut. This is that door that I told you about before the cut, that you need to open up. When you get through here, you go to the right, you pick this lock. And depending on how long you took to do this, there will be a guard patrolling. Um, in this case, I found it better to wait him out. Just let him do his thing and then we can do ours. out of his sight obviously this is where we entered before we need to head back all the way to where we came from and it's still a little tricky so don't do anything crazy walking away so we can move up so now you need to watch out because still there's this guard walking around this temple I'm just making sure that he isn't here I can't find him, so I'm guessing he's at the front now. Which means we're almost home free. I'm 
just keeping an eye on that guard that's patrolling to see what he's doing. So yeah, now we're gonna head towards the stairs and there's a little surprise for us. Because there's us. What you wanna do is peek a little so you start shooting and whatever you do, do not follow him. He's gonna run inside a corridor and there's explosives there. So just keep doing your business and escape. Don't be lured to shoot him. And let's see how we did. Yes, we wanna save. And there you have it. Once again, Silent Assassin, full stealth bar. Not too shabby for a six month break. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And as always, keep it safe, keep it cool, keep it real. And peace out. See you all for the next episode.